I'm straight right here. Welcome back to Sip and Tally Films. This is your host, Coach Evans. And our first time here, make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, um, smash the bell notification so you can get these random videos, just like this random one that I decided to drop tonight. Uh, obviously, you can see by the title, today's video is uh, Gus the Bus. And uh, once I finish the breakdown, I'll make me a little thumbnail for the people that are going to watch this later. For all you that's live, go ahead and hit the like button. I appreciate it. And let's uh, dive right into this film. We know Gus went for seven carries for 101, uh, like 14, 15 yards per carry. And let's just dive in, look at these seven carries, and see what we get. All right, first play, play one. We'll let it run, then we'll come back and talk about it. Just a little dive. I don't know if it was a read or not, but let's see. I'm trying to look at the O-line so I can see what play it is. Like an ISO. We like ISO. So you get... Let me turn that off. My bad. My bad. So you're getting a out block here, out block here, out block here. They're going to double team to this dude. He ISO and Smith. He trying to kick him out and just Gus hit the hole. That's what should happen. And I don't know why we left this dude. So it is a read then. It is a read. Reading 58. 58 stays square. You give it to Gus. 58 comes down the line. Lamar keeps it and goes out there. 58 stays square. He gave it to him. Look how Gus fit through this little hole. That's getting skinny. Getting skinny. Falling forward for about five or six yards. Let's see. Let's try to see if I can see the line of scrimmage is. The line of scrimmage is right there. Yeah, about six or seven yards. Let's go to play two. Full house backfield. Another little dive situation. I can, bet, I can tell you what it is once I see what the old line do. Bunch of yards on that one. I don't know the exact number. But let's see if we can figure out what the old line do. You got a double team right here. You got a solo block by Orlando. Good block by Orlando. Ricard kicking out. No power, so this may be uh, some form of duo. Maybe some form of duo. So they got all, all this just bunched up in there with a kick out block right here. And just going to hit the backside. If he's great, he'll meet him. But let's see if the linebacker can get over the top. Nope. The linebacker's watching them all. Go score side of there. Good, good little um, move right here to make the guy miss. He dives at his feet. Stop and go. Let's stop and go by Gus. All six, one or six, two of Gus. Let's stop and go. He made a couple moves this game that made me um, realize he's more agile than I thought. And we'll see those later on in the um, in the film session. So we're going to play three. Now we got one, two, three. You got Skura here as an extra lineman. You got your, um, your, I think your new tight end is it Wilson. I think his name is Wilson. Maybe, maybe not. I could be wrong. Don't quote me. Don't hold me to that. You got, you got a triple team on this dude, and this might have been a play that the Cowboys guy uh, posted. <laughs> you basically got a triple team right here, and then the two linebackers free. I know one of the Cowboys. I think it was Antoine Woods posted and say I hadn't got this since high school. Well, get it, buddy. You got a double. I don't know if Fluka should be climbing or I'm not sure what, what he should be doing. The car is taking it on. Skrill gets beat inside, so he's probably going to bounce it. Good seal, though. Look at that alley. Look at that alley. Good seal right here. Uh, Skrill is going to seal him down. If Gus, is Gus going to hit that hole? Nope. Don't hit that hole. <laughs> he going up the middle with a girth at. Probably some kind of ice, so he probably supposed to have been following Ricard and just didn't see this. 
But now it's one on one with Jalen Smith. Let's see what happens. Fall forward. Five yards. Let me see what the line of scrimmage is. So maybe about three or four yards. Not five, not quite five. Maybe three or four. Falling forward. Falling forward. I love it. Always falling forward. All right. This is play four. Carry number four. Got the little option where they could, could read it. So I think 90 is the read. So if I'm not mistaken, this guy right here is the read man. Okay, do some, like inside zone blocking this way. There, there, there. Double to there. He's a read guy. He's architect out of defender. Uh, Ricard is coming. To, the block whoever else shows up. But this is the read man. If he crashes down, Lamar keep it. If he keeps his shoulder square right there, hand it off to Gus. Kept his shoulder square, hand it off to Gus. Now, uh, I don't know why we didn't get, like, the, this combo should have been blocking Van Der Esch. No, it should have been blocking um, this dude. Should have been blocking this dude. But Van Der Esch is free. Let's see what happens. Mono and Mono in the hole. Okay, so good job our Cowboys on this. How many yards we get? We got minimal. Two or three. Two or three on that. So good job by the Cowboys on that one. Next play. Got motion by Duvernay coming across. Let's watch and see what happens. Got some outside zone right there. Like a little stretch. Ooh, good. See, that's what I was talking about. Told you guys broke, broke the moves out. He broke out the pap paps this game. Let's slow it down. So I'm thinking he's this guy's coming in motion. We're running stretch uh, um, to the right. So pre-snap, what I think should happen is Fluka should try to hook this dude. It should be a combo with Makari blocking him, him climbing up to whatever linebacker shows up. Uh, Orlando should eventually take this over. Skura, this is not Skura, this is Bozeman. Bozeman should shoot that arm there, then try to cut off Sean Lee, and then – He's unblocked, and he's probably unblocked by the um, – he's blocked by the motion. He got to respect that motion going across. All right? Let's see how, what happens, what actually happens. All right, Fluka gets his guy. Oh, I didn't see they had um, Borkin right here. Borkin probably going to help try to seal the edge too. So we see help there. Now Ben Powers is climbing. Fluka gets thrown out the way. Boy can help seal the edge. Now you got one on one with this guy. I'll take Gus and a DB any day of the week. But look, he's sticking his foot in the ground. He's like, forget this. I'm going to be agile and cut it back. Cut it right behind Bozeman and, and Powers. Now I'm going to give you a little pat pat. Pat pat. Make him miss. Now I'm going to stiff form the, the linebacker that's trying to get me down. Pie face. That's great execution right there by Gus. All nasty. From a 6'2 guy. I think he's 6'2. He just like terminate out there. Play, rush number six. Got Skura in again as an extra lineman. We seen this look earlier. Power. Not being powers, but power. Running back. Alright, so what's gonna happen right here? <sighs> he's gonna seal this guy out. Everybody else is kind of blocking down. But with with him head up, Skura's gonna block him head up. Everybody else should be going down, down, down. Bowles are going to pull and wrap to whatever linebacker shows up. Orlando can try to stab and cut that, cut this off right here, cut this gap off. Let's, let's work with Orlando first. See if Orlando gets his job. Oh, so I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. We still running power, but instead of him kicking it out, he's blocking down. Ricard's going to be the kickout guy for him. And then Bozeman going to come around and wrap to whatever linebacker shows up. So I was wrong. So everybody up on this line should be blocking this way. Everybody should be blocking this way. Everybody. Except, and again, Orlando's going to stab and tinge this gap. Ricard's coming across to kick out this guy. Bozeman's going to pull to whoever shows up. I don't know if it's going to be Van Der Esch or whoever, you know, whatever guy shows up. But let's see. Everybody down. So you got this double right here because they blocking down. He should get kicked out by Ricard. 
Bozeman should pull the 55. Kick out. Block. Hit it. Wide open. One on one with, with 25. Ah. The car didn't finish the block. He fell off. Ah. So it's a good job by him. Whoever that guy is for the Cowboys. But we still got like seven, eight yards. Good job by 92. The car got to finish that block though. And this is seventh and final rush. Same play. Same exact play. Don't even need to draw it up. Same formation. Same same exact play. I guess they felt like, you know, hey, we, we just missed it on this one. Run it again. Same exact play. Kick out. And he just hit it this time. Same exact play. Which is good and bad because, you know, everybody talk about zero running the same plays. But it worked out this time. All right. This is a quick film session about Gus. I'm going to try to get you something else. Um, soon, probably probably do JK. Probably do JK soon. But uh, this is Coach Evans from Sip the Tally Films. Uh, I know I ain't getting the chat box much, but this is one of those videos that I put up, that's going to be put up to, to last, so that's why I ain't kind of interact with the chat box. But I do appreciate you guys for being here live. Y'all the first to see it, so um, share it, like it, subscribe, hit the bell notification. It's Coach Evans from Sip the Tally Films. Peace. Well, it's going to be peace once I find this button. There you go.